everybody doing tonight? We have another brand new robot vacuum for you. This one is the Bissell Icon Pet model 2291A. This one I actually did not even know existed until I just came across it while just searching Google. And when I saw the specs on this, I figured I'd have to try it for you guys. Now this one is made for pet hair and it's according to the little video I watched online, it looks like it's gonna be quite a good vacuum. So this guy claims to have 7,000 PA suction, which is by far the most I've ever heard of. The last two robot vacuums I just tested on this channel was the Neobot and then the Prusinic M7 Pro. Those both offered 2,700 PA suction as the max. So 7,000, what a big difference. So I'm actually pretty excited to check this guy out. Um, this one retails for $599.99 and I got it on sale for 400. So this does have an app you can download and you can basically schedule it and when to clean and all that good stuff, but you cannot make a map of your house. So you won't be able to do it like the Roombas where you say, go clean my kitchen and it'll just go do it automatically. So let's go ahead and get into this box. I really did not do much research on this. So this is all gonna be a brand new surprise to me too. Uh, looks in the pictures to be a pretty dang cool looking bot. Uh, it has a digital readout display of what it's doing. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Hello, let's get set up. So you download the Bissell app, which we'll do whenever I do a review of this video. This is just gonna be a quick, simple unboxing to kind of show it off. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to actually get into this. I never actually thought I'd be buying a Bissell robot vacuum uh, so this, this is becoming so popular that so many more companies now are making their own robotic vacuums and we'll probably see one from all the different companies. Now, even Eureka has one out now. So Dyson has one, Samsung, I mean, you name it. Pretty much every single vacuum manufacturer eventually is gonna have a robot vacuum. Let's just go ahead and get into this guy. High-powered robotic vacuum. Simple instructions, we'll keep that for later if I need them. Here is the dock. And this is a smart robot in the sense that it knows when to go back and dock and then it can recharge and go back out and clean when need be. Yeah, good looking dock. Power supply for the dock. Pretty basic, of course. And then, of course, we got the main robot. So not much to it for the packaging. And that is it. Nothing to it. All right, let's go ahead and check out the design of this guy. Other than a couple pictures, I haven't really done much with this at all. All right, kind of a cool looking robot. So this has a little LCD display that will scroll what it's doing, whether it's cleaning. Then you have a spot, spot clean, you know, send the robot home. And then this changes the power of the robot. This is just uh, go and then pause. Let's check out the dirt bin real quick. It's a pretty good sized dirt bin. This is more of the cyclone cleaning over here. This is what's gonna create all the pressure and suck up all the hair and all that stuff. And then this side is where the dirt and everything's gonna go. So that'll be a good test to see how well this bin works. And of course, let's check out the underneath. So one thing I like going for this guy, it's got, just like the S9 Plus, has a really wide front brush. One thing to note on this guy, which is surprising, there is no side brush at all. So we'll have to do an edge test and see if it can get the edge very good at all. Maybe the suction is so strong that it just pulls it in. But uh, yeah, it should be a very good test. Has a front bumper bar, of course, to avoid the walls. Gonna turn it on and see if what we can see. 
So it is fully charged. Pretty cool, hello. Hi there, you're ready to go, eh? Let's go ahead and do a quick little test on this table. I just wanna see how it performs even just on this tiny section. So this you just hit to go. go. Not sure why I did that. So of course it has edge detection so it won't fall. Let's see if I can increase suction. I believe that's what this does. Whoa, hey there. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> I'll definitely be doing a full review on this. I'm gonna give it a stress test. I'm gonna do a, a hair test with dogs and cats, and we'll be able to see if the brush stays tangled or not. This is supposed to have a tangle-free brush design. So when this is done cleaning, you should be able to flip it over and not see any hair whatsoever on this brush. So that's gonna be a good test to see if, if we do get hair or not. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to testing out this guy. I think it's going to be a good little good robot. I think it's going to be a good robot, and uh, we'll see how Bissell does on the robot game. <laughs>